diving deeper into your explorations with ice. Like when we took balloons and we observed them, right? You took flashlights, you took all the tools that we had, you observed them. We thought of investable questions and then we investigated them, right? And a lot of you realized that comparison, when you compare one thing or another, you came up with really great investigations. Um, for instance, I remember seeing one group, they took the ice that was still in the balloon and just a hunk of ice, right? And they compared them and saw which one melted faster over time when put in hot water. In this activity, youth developed their own questions after experimenting with ice balloons. Youth used ice cubes to learn about designing investigations using variables and gathering data to answer their questions. We really looked at the outcomes that we wanted the youth to have um, before planning the activity. So the skills of observing and asking good investigable questions and having them um, collect data and have evidence for their conclusion. What do you remember about investigable questions? A question that you can actually answer in this time and place with the amount of time we have. And materials. Yes. Time, material, place. What different tools would you like or need to like. investigate your questions further? Like measuring tools in, you know, whether it is for temperature or time or the amount of salt that we're using or the amount of water. All right. So today your task is, is to use ice in a different way. We brought ice cubes because we made them more precise than the ice balloons. So your task today is to come up with an investigable question within your group, and then you're going to come up with an experiment, an investigation. Last time, the ice melted and then it froze the salt. We also have different kinds of salt One this time. Paper clip. Okay, so you can do salt on different types of salt on the other. Yes. What are you testing? Uh, what is your well, to see okay. if it's different My only the idea salt like that is that is how can you make it more... So you're doing salt versus no salt? Down. So could yeah. you just use a couple different, different kinds of salt. Yeah. Different kinds of salt. salt. And your, the evidence you're going to collect to okay. say whether or not that is a factor is the amount of water. Yeah. Yeah. And you're quantifying it by catching it in the mm -hmm. cylinders. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can time it too. And you can time it too. So you've got a couple of, of ways to measure and, and make it more quantified. Mm -hmm. The youth are taking control and creating these investigations for themselves. The youth actually frame it as a question and they take it from there and they um, determine how they're going to collect data on this question and how they're going to um, present their evidence in conclusions. Well, we're trying the different types of salt on Go. the ice at the same time. Go. Close enough. And we're just going to see what happens with the different types of salt. And then we have a control with no salt on it. Awesome. They decided that they wanted more precision and they wanted tools to measure how the ice was melting or how um, the ice was reacting to the salt. So we had things like thermometers and scales and other measuring tools. Is this getting you thinking about other questions? Yeah, why does that one melt faster? What's so maybe, different about that salt? Maybe because it's the grains are small and they okay. cover it more. What's the difference oh. between iodized salt and normal? What does iodized mean? I just heard three or four questions right there. <laughs> when I look at an activity, I think, is there room for them to approach inquiry with it? Can they explore questions on their own? And will it stimulate other thinking, new questions and that sort of thing? Should we do more than five minutes? How about we just do 12 minutes until we're done? So last time we, we investigated ice balloons, and this time, what, what was different about our experience? Smaller, more precise. We worked with smaller, more precise ice cubes that were measured out, and we used tools that could measure them.